Good morning, my little stars. Hoping to see you all in fine and healthy. Okay, students, take out your books. Lesson number eight. Some properties of water. Today we'll do all the back exercises. Okay, students, page number fifty-seven. First, write down blow your mind. Page number fifty-six. Why does a ship float on water? Why does a ship float on water? Write down here. Answer. It is because weight of the pushed water is more than the weight of the ship. It is because weight of the pushed water is more than the weight of the ship. Last time we have done the new words. Now we'll do exercise number one. Tick the correct answer. Part A. A universal solvent is oil, water, soda, juice. Right answer is water. Water is a universal solvent. B. Water has a fixed shape, volume, size. All of these. Tick volume. Tick volume. Water has a fixed volume. Part C. In a sugar solution, sugar is the solute, solvent, solution. None of these. Solute. What is sugar? It is a solute. Tick solute. D. Water is colorless, odorless, tasteless. All of these. It's a quality of water. It is colorless. It is odorless. It is a tasteless. Tick all of these. All have done, student. Now part two. Put these substances in the correct column. Soluble substances, insoluble substances. Substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances. Insoluble substances, substances that do not dissolve in water. Write down here from the box. Number one, salt. Sugar, coffee powder, lime juice. These are soluble substances. Now write on here. Oil, petrol, sand, stone. All have written students. Next exercise. Write true or false. Part A. Things heavier than water float on water. Right on false F. B. Water exerts a beyond force on things immersed in it. It is a true. Right on T. Part C. Salt will dissolve faster in cold water than warm water. It's a false F. D. An iron nail will float in a bucket of water. It's a false. All are done, students. Okay, revise for five minutes. Now take out your copies. Write down date. Lesson number eight. Underline some properties of water. Part four. Answer the following questions. First question: Why does an object sink or float in water? Answer number one. Things that are lighter than water float in water. Number two, things that are heavier than water sink in water. All have written. Question number two. Leave one line. Explain the term solute, solvent, and solution. Number one, solute is substance that dissolves in water. Underline. Leave one line. Number two, solvent, a liquid in which a solute dissolves. It is a solvent. Underline. Number three, solution, a liquid formed when the solute completely dissolves in the solvent. All are written. What is solution? A liquid formed when the solute completely dissolves in the solvent. Question number. Three. Distinguish between soluble and insoluble substances. Number one, soluble substances, substances that dissolve in water. For example, sugar, salt. Leave one line. Number two, insoluble substances, substances that do not dissolve in water. All have written. For example, oil, petrol. These are insoluble substances. Leave one line. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वॉट इज बयोन्सी आंसर द अपर्ड फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय वॉटर ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट इमर्ज इन इट द अपर्ड फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय वॉटर ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट इमर्ज इन इट ऑल एव डन नाउ राइड एंड हॉट्स ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज नंबर वन वाई डज दिस सोप डिश फ्लोट इन ए बकेट ऑफ वॉटर बट ए सोप डिश विद सोप सिंक इन वॉटर आंसर इट इज बिकॉज सोप डिश इज लाइटर देन द सोप डिश विद सोप इन इट वॉट द आंसर इट इज बिकॉज सोप डिश इज लाइटर देन द सोप डिश विद ए सोप इन इट ऑल एव रिटर्न स्टूडेंट्स Learn class work. Next time I'll take test lesson number eight. All are written students. Okay, my dear students, don't waste time and make the best of these precious moments. I hope you will obey your parents and have a regular study routine. Stay happy and healthy. Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you, students.